Hi you guys, this is Summer White with The Prayer Closet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is part two of my home tour. Um, there was just a little bit left, but apparently I went over my 35 minute limit on my recording on my phone. So it just cut off at the end of my video and I didn't get to finish it. So this is part two um, of that home tour. And we left off on the closet and what we had done and how we had installed we actually, this was not here when we moved in and we had put these boards in. Um, just simple, simple fix. You can nail some boards. Um, you gotta measure them out, of course, to your space, but then you nail them up and then it holds. You find the bigger board to lay on top of it and it holds. You can just lay them right across there and it holds them up. And then you can literally put just rows of clothing like I've shown here, um, just from ceiling to floor and you can just put double stacks in there and it works out great so um and then down here i was able to put um these are also plastic which i mentioned in the last video i just don't like plastic pieces these are behind the curtain though so no one can see them i may still replace them with some type of like basket looking material but for now um these have this one has belts you can see belts in there and then the other one had like swimsuits and then we go fun yakking sometimes down the Hawassi River so um, I have stuff in there for that too as well like shorts and different things for that if you have not done that it's fun you should give it a try and then also um, this pink corduroy bag that I showed on one of my last videos and there's the vintage the ivory colored leather bag um, some of the cool finds that I had gotten. Um, I think this pink corduroy, it was Bath and Body Works, but it is so cute. It's going to be a neat fall bag just because of the corduroy. I'm excited about that one and the color. And then I had my ballroom shoes down here. So these are just some extra things I have sitting here. But um, my ballroom shoes, if y'all have not tried, and they come in this little bag. See, little bag and they've got shoes in it. If you have not tried ballroom... It is so much fun. So I just encourage everybody. Ballroom is, and this has nothing to do with the home tour, but I just saw the shoes and thought I would mention it. Um, ballroom is such a fun family event. It is not, I think a lot of people are misled about it. It is not a bar. It is not um, a place for a bad setting. It is It is a very... It is, it is just a very family-oriented setting out of all the ballroom studios that I've been to. So the ones that I've been to were in Chattanooga. And everybody there has always been, it didn't matter which one I went to, everybody's always been very friendly, very nice. People bring their kids. There's no smoking inside. There's no drinking. Um, it is just family-friendly. And people are really nice and willing to help you learn and you can actually if you're inter interested in ballroom you can go um, to these studios most of the time call them and find out ahead of time just research ballroom studios near you but you can um, go on their group lessons and those lessons only cost like 15 bucks so um, cheaper than going out to eat cheaper than going to a movie for 15 bucks, you can go and dance for like three hours, and it is so much fun. It's a blast. It is not 100% um, easy at first. It takes about two months to really start picking it up, but if you stick with it, most people that stick with it love it, and they don't want to leave it after that. So just a little bit of extra there for you in case you're looking for some family fun that you haven't done yet. So, um, so that is one of those things, and um, also... I just wanted to show you over here so like in these drawers like most of them are closed right but I did put because we have limited bathroom space so in this drawer I do have like there's my I've got my phone chargers actually but I've got my hair dryer and I've got my straightener in that drawer and in this drawer I put these little baskets and they've just got like things separated so I've got some makeup I've got some hair things back in the back I've got contacts and a mirror um, another curling iron back there. And do y'all remember what these are? I found these at a thrift shop and they're like cool vintage. Um, they're like little, like they're shirt holders. Like you, you put them on the end of your shirt. Um, and we had them in the nineties. And, and so instead of tying your shirt in a knot, they would just go in that holder. So I thought those are really cool. So I picked up those too, but, um, that's something neat. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's just kind of how I've used 
every bit of my space for something. So, um, so I don't think anything's left out. I think that covers just about everything, but we have really just worked and tried to get creative on how to store things, um, so that we can all like have the things that we need. Um, my daughter's room, I'm not showing today because it's not cleaned up <laughs> and out of respect for her, she asked me not to show it. So we're not going to do that one today, but I may do a video on that one later, um, on just what we've done in her room. Um, we actually did her walls. Um, her paint has glitter in it. Uh, so you, when you go to Lowe's, you can ask for glitter and it's this very, very, it's real fine. It's finer than the glitter you buy in like the craft section. Um, and you mix it in your paint and it does it's just it makes your walls shimmery it's really cute so um anyway so that may be another video to do at a different time and then also i have like down here on the floor i have a back, black garbage bag full of clothes um so i did a closet clean out out of both these closets um the other day and the reason why i didn't do a video on the clean out is because i'm still using my phone and it i feel like it would be hard to see um everything that was going on from the from the phone but I do have about six of these garbage bags full of clothes to sell on eBay. So if you're interested in, in any of that, tune in uh, for my next videos because I will be showing um, probably a bag per video. And those will be things that I am listing on eBay. So my next video is going to be just on my thrift haul that I found the other day. It was Friday, um, which I mentioned and haven't got to show you yet. So I will be showing you the items I found um, on that thrift haul at the Goodwill. And then probably the next three or four videos after that are going to be on those items I cleaned out of the closet that I will be selling on eBay. So, and if you want to get to my eBay, um, you go to, go to Google. I cannot link my eBay account, uh, to my YouTube yet. I think I have pretty much found out based on things I've seen, different replies and responses from other people on YouTube videos that if you do not have a thousand subscribers, you can't create a link. Um, so if you've heard something different, let me know, but that's, I've been trying to research it and that's what I've found out so far. So, um, the way you can get to my eBay is go to Google and then just type in summer shop dash two scroll down and you will see summer shop dash two on eBay. And that will take you straight to the items that I'm selling. And, uh, I have been on eBay for nine years. It is established. So it's, um, it's something that I have been working at for a long time. And so, um, I would love to, to, um, for you to be able to go over and look at the items I have. So anyways, just keep that in mind. And if you like this video, I know it's a little shorter than the last one because we had pretty much finished the home tour. If you like this video, make sure you um, hit the like button and the subscribe button so I can keep making more. And I'm going to read the scripture for the day. Um, so today's scripture, I'm just giving God thanks and I'm going to let you read it with me. Um, just for everything he's done. It says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory, because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. And that is written in Psalm 63, 1-5. through so I just encourage you today to just give God thanks. I know sometimes, and, and sometimes I have a hard time with this too. Sometimes you wake up and, and you're not exactly where you want to be. And you feel like there's this struggle and that struggle. And I have a tendency to maybe complain a little. So, um, just, in, I'm just encouraging you as well as myself to just, um, give God thanks for everything. Instead of starting the morning out with a complaint, just hop out of bed and say, thank you, God, for this day. This is the day you've made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And just from there, just as you go out about your day, whether it's at work, thank you, God, for my job. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for my home. And just continue that throughout your day and you will be surprised how much better your day will go. And it will, it will just flow better and it will just, it will make it a better day. And I've experienced this and I think God really honors it when we give him praise, regardless of what trial we're going through. So, um, so that's just, that's where I'm at today and what I'm doing. And I just encourage y'all to, um, just stay in God's word and God's promises. And, um, until next time, um, 
God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. And um, the next video will be on my thrift haul, so don't forget to, to watch that. And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.